so that it's less likely that we get shown up by talking birds in the future, we've set up a little bit of exercise for solving systems of equations with substitution. And so this is the first exercise or the first problem they give us. Negative 3x minus 4y is equal to negative 2. Y is equal to 2x minus 5. So let me get out my little scratch pad and let me rewrite the problem. So this is negative 3x minus 4y is equal to negative 2. And then they tell us y. y is equal to 2x minus 5. So what's neat about this is that they've already solved the second equation. They've already made it explicitly solved for y, which makes it very easy to substitute for. We could take this constraint, the constraint on y in terms of x, and substitute it for y in this first blue equation and then solve for x. So let's try it out. So this first blue equation would then become negative 3x minus 4. But instead of putting a y there, the second constraint tells us that y needs to be equal to 2x minus 5. So it's 4 times 2x minus 5, 2x minus 5. And all of that is going to be equal to negative 2. So now we get just one equation with one unknown, and now we just have to solve for x. So let's see if we can do that. So it is negative 3x. And then this part right over here, we have a negative 4. I want to be careful right over here. We have a negative 4 that we want to distribute. We're going to multiply negative 4 times 2x, which is negative 8x. And then negative 4 times negative 5 is positive 20. And that's going to equal negative 2. And now we can combine all of the x terms. So negative 3x minus 8x, that's going to be negative 11x. Negative 11x, and then we have plus 20. Plus 20 is equal to negative 2. Now to solve for x, we'll subtract 20 from both sides to get rid of the 20 on the left-hand side. Subtract 20 from both sides. On the left-hand side, we're just left with the negative 11x negative 11x. And then on the right-hand side, we are left with negative 22. Negative 22. Now we can divide both sides by negative 11. Negative 11. And we are left with x is equal to 22 divided by 11 is 2. And the negatives cancel out. x is equal to 2. And so we, we're not quite done yet. We've done, I guess you could say, the hard part. We've solved for x. But now we have to solve for y. And we could take this x value and to either one of these equations and solve for y. But this second one has already explicitly solved for y. So let's use that one. So it says y is equal to 2 times, and instead of x, we, know, we now know that the x value that where these two are intersect, you could view it that way, is going to be equal to 2. So 2 times 2 minus 5. Let's figure out the corresponding y value. Minus 5. Minus 5. And so you get y is equal to, and that's where the home stretch, y is equal to 2 times 2 is 4 minus 5. So y is equal to negative 1. And you can verify that it'll work in this top equation. If y is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to 2, this top equation becomes negative 3 times 2, which is negative 6, minus 4 times negative 1, which would be plus 4. And negative 6 plus 4 is indeed equal to negative 2. So it satisfies both of these equations. And now we can type it in to see, to verify that we got it right, although we know that we did. So x is equal to 2, y is equal to negative 1. So let's type it in. x is equal to 2, and y is equal to negative 1. Excellent. Now we're much less likely to be embarrassed by talking birds.